hydraulic press is an incredibly powerful tool that can crush almost anything you place in it. But how does a hydraulic press completely crush almost anything you place it in? Well, the process starts when the hydraulic press is activated, setting off a sequence of events that culminates in a massive force being applied to the object. First, a hydraulic pump is used to pressurize the liquid inside the system. This liquid, usually oil, is crucial to the operation because it is virtually incompressible. Unlike gases, liquids cannot be compressed into a smaller volume. This characteristic is what allows the hydraulic press to generate such immense force. Once the liquid is pressurized, it is pushed into a cylinder. Inside the cylinder is a piston, which plays a central role in the press's operation. The pressure inside the cylinder increases significantly as more liquid is forced in. Because the liquid is incompressible, the pressure translates directly into force exerted on the piston. This is where the magic of hydraulic amplification comes into play. A relatively small force applied to the liquid by the pump is converted into a much larger force due to the properties of hydraulics. The force applied to the liquid is distributed evenly in all directions, and when it reaches the piston, it drives it downward with great power. As the piston is pushed down, it makes contact with the object placed within the press. The enormous force generated by the hydraulic system is transferred to the object, causing it to be crushed. The strength of the press depends on the size and design of the hydraulic system, but even smaller presses can exert thousands of pounds of pressure. In summary, a hydraulic press works by using a hydraulic pump to pressurize an incompressible liquid, which is then forced into a cylinder. The increased pressure moves a piston, which in turn exerts a tremendous force on the object being pressed, crushing it. This efficient and powerful mechanism is what makes hydraulic presses so effective at compacting materials.